The Lakers are basically out of playoff contention, right? And the team is scaling back LeBron James minutes. We've seen it already. He's averaged under 30 minutes per game in his last two, including Saturday night in a loss against the Celtics. And, and there are all kinds of other issues right now with the Lakers. This one is frightening. They announced that Brandon Ingram will miss the rest of the year. He's been diagnosed with a deep venous thrombosis in his right arm. It's a condition caused by a blood clot that can be very serious. We don't know exactly how significant it is, but certainly he's closed down for the year. The Lakers also shutting down point guard Lonzo Ball. Ball sustained a grade three ankle sprain in January, then had a bone bruise that slowed his recovery. So it's it's been a very difficult time for the Lakers. And so, Mike Woodson, if you are coaching the Lakers, what are you doing with LeBron James right now? Mike, I'm shutting him down. Got to shut him down. Get ready for next summer. What do you think, Stephen A.? I don't disagree with that, but my, the narrative that, that I brought up last week when this news came down was that I want to see what LeBron James wants to do. I'm not saying that I disagree with Coach because I get where Coach is coming from. But the question hasn't been about the organization in terms of their interest, their level of commitment to LeBron James. They gave him four years, $153 million. They're all in on him. We recognize he's one of the greatest, if not the greatest, player in the game of basketball, at least until he went down and got injured. Here's the reality. Because you have so many people, and being in L.A. all of last week, being in L.A. periodically throughout the year, producers, directors, the who's who of Hollywood sitting courtside stuff. I mean, I'm not talking about questions, Greeny, Coach, Bart. I'm talking about accusations from folks in L.A. He ain't here to be no Laker. He came here for Hollywood. Mm. Yeah, he gonna get his 27 points tonight. He's gonna do what he takes during those 48 minutes. But is he really all in Stephen A, the way that he was when he went to Miami, the way that he was when he went to Cleveland? I personally think those questions are ridiculous because LeBron James has proven to us throughout his illustrious career, say, and I can be critical of, of him from time to time, there is no question his professionalism. There's no questioning his commitment to win. There's no questioning any of that stuff. But Laker Nation is a different breed. And when you are the marquee guy, keep this in mind, from 1948 to this day, there has never been a marquee name outside of Elgin Baylor wearing the purple and gold that didn't deliver a chip. Mm -hmm. for the purple and gold. Elgin Baylor retired in 72, a few games into that season that Jerry West and those boys won it. He retired that season. But he is the only star, synonymous, and again, he was on the downside of his career. He is the only elite star to ever wear purple and gold that didn't deliver a championship. So Everybody else did. That's the mandate for LeBron James, and they don't think that they're getting that priority from him. They think he wants to be Hollywood. I, he, I hear. I, I heard you were talking about it last week. They're chanting, go back to Cleveland in L.A., which is which unbelievable. Is ridiculous. Will he get it done? Will he find a way? Will he and Magic and everybody find a way, whether it's free agency, whatever it might be, to win one in L.A.? Well, again, this summer is going to be very pivotal for that franchise in terms of moving forward. So, you know, they got to start by getting a free agent a big free agent to come in. Will they? I think they'll get one, yeah. Ooh. Don't know. Don't know. Kawhi? Kevin Durant? That big? Uh, I mean... It, Stephen A., you're shy. I, I, I know you don't Would think you so. like me to answer this, Coach? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I mean... I, let me I, tell you I something right now. Let me tell you what's going on. Kawhi Leonard supposedly don't want to go. It's either the Clippers or Toronto. This is what they're saying. KD, one minute you hear Golden State, another minute you hear the Knicks. You certainly don't hear L.A. because he ain't trying to help LeBron win more than LeBron has already won. Kyrie Irving, you hear Boston one minute, New York the next, L.A. is an outsider until his camp picks up the phone to remind you, yo, he ain't trying to reunite with LeBron. He left Cleveland for a reason. We know what Paul George did in terms of electing to stay in OKC because the Lakers didn't pursue him strongly enough and what have you. So then you talk about Jimmy Butler, a damn good player, but not the marquee that you were looking for. Kemba Walker, a, a lesser version of Kyrie, but special. But then again, he's a native New Yorker, and New York would overpay to keep him particularly if you can't get Kyrie. So when you look at all of these different scenarios, now we get back to the Lakers and LeBron, and here's what it comes down to. You LeBron James, nobody wants to come play with mm. you. You can't get one guy to come that you got to rely on Rich Paul and Clutch Sports with your client, because we all know that LeBron James mm -hmm. is synonymous with Clutch Sports. You got to rely on Anthony Davis getting traded. The Pelicans reportedly are not going to cooperate with the Lakers. They'll trade him anywhere but to the Lakers, which means he would have to wait until the, tw the summer of 2020. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> the Los Angeles Clippers have a billionaire they owner do. worth $22 billion. Yeah. They've got a guy in Lawrence Frank known for working hard. 
Doc Rivers has done an exceptional job of coaching this year. And, oh, by the way, they're going to have enough cap space for two max players, not just one. And in the meantime, they're about eight games over 500, battling for a seventh seed, could potentially climb to a sixth seed in the Western Conference picture. This is not a good situation for the Los Angeles Lakers. When we talk about the Yankees and the Mets in New York, I can't believe I'm about to say this. If the Lakers don't get somebody, the Clippers will be the Yankees of L.A., and the be. Lakers would be the Mets.